part of the computer architecture tutorial. In this part, we'll be demonstrating the MIPS data path. Uh, here we have uh, the fetch unit, uh, the decode unit, the execute unit, the memory unit, and the write back unit. Um, so, in this example, we have here the hazard detection unit the forwarding unit uh, which uh, send control signals in order to um, allow the processor to accept the forwarded registers or to act upon the hazards these control signals are uh, the control the, the the flow using multiplexers so assuming that you've been through all of this in the lecture uh, we'll be uh, cutting three cuts in this drawing. First one will be cutting this wire, second one this wire, and third one this wire. And we'll see. What will the cut cause? Or what will, uh, what, what, what code snippet wouldn't uh, work? So, we'll start here. If we cut this wire, this is the start of the wire and this is its end. So what does this wire do? Obviously, uh, th this wire writes the data to the register file. So if we cut this wire, we will not be able to write to register file. So, uh, this means that the, the R-type and any instruction with write back to register file will fail. An example or a code snippet uh, of, of, of a code that, that will fail will be, for example, add register S1, register S2, register S3. This example takes the value in register S2, adds it to the value in register S3, and writes the answer to register S1. When it, will, when it tries to write the register back, it finds the wire cut, so you are stuck here. So, going to the second example. I'll leave you a second to uh, go through the example and know what's the problem over here. Okay, so let's take the start of the wire. Where does this wire come from? This is the start of the wire, and this is, this is its end. So, what, why are there these multiplexers? Those multiplexers are there in order to choose whether to take the register from the forwarding unit or, or the values from the register from the forwarding unit or from the register file. So actually this wire brings the value from here and uh, forwards it to the multiplexer in order to uh, execute the value. All right, I, 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 I will demonstrate it. So if you have here instruction 1 in the instruction pipeline, and this is instruction 2, um, and for example, instruction 1 was um, add S1, um, S2, and S3. And the next, the next one would be add uh, T0, S1, and S2. So, as we agreed, the value from S1 will not be ready yet. So, instruction 1 has to bypass or to forward the value of S1 after the execute stage 
for instruction two to use it in order to get the correct value. And this is the role of this wire in accordance with the forwarding unit, which sends the control signals for the multiplexer to choose the values forwarded from here to the multiplexer to enter the ALU. So, the last part about uh, number two would be that this is for operand one and this is for operand two. So, if we made this cut, let me clear that out in order to make it uh, much more clear. If we made that cut, the only affected oper uh, operand would be operand one. Operand one would never be forwarded, but operand two has a still working wire, so it will be still forwarded. So if we, uh, uh, for example, took add to T0 S2 and S1, that would work very much perfect because operand two has no problem now. I hope that's clear by now. So let's go to the third cut. So uh, what 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 would this cut affect? So let's uh, trace this wire as we uh, uh, did in the previous examples. This, this wire comes from here. It's after uh, the, the it's, it's in the decode stage. So after the decode stage, this is actually responsible of the branch instructions because uh, nothing uh, affects the uh, program counter except uh, in, 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 in the decode stage, except the uh, branch instruction because that ALU unit at the end uh, pulls to the multiplexer and this multiplexer goes to the program count and affects it. So that's how I knew that this wire is responsible for the ALU unit that's responsible for uh, amending the program counter and accordingly that's this point that 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 that's uh, the, the branch instruction uh, thing so uh, an example would be uh, if 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 we said the branch is equal s1 s2 to our, our target was um, exit that wouldn't actually work because uh the 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 target isn't uh, uh added to the alu correctly accordingly the alu doesn't um calculate the branch target address correctly correctly accordingly the instruction doesn't uh, go to the intended place so uh, uh that's the end of this part of the tutorial. Please feel free to ask any questions. Thank you.